the selection criteria was quite different we did not have an aptitude test to begin with instead we had a cv shortlisting round the best way to learn about product management and its nuances is by reading reading and reading so you need to keep reading about this role uh, definitely check out mock pm interviews on youtube there are a couple of channels uh, hello everybody i hope that you all are doing fine welcome to ic2c's podcast series today we have mr nishan soni with us who is a computer science undergraduate from delhi technological university and is also working as the product management intern with expedia hey nishan how are you hi then may i'm doing good what about you i'm also doing great so nishan please tell us more about yourself all right so hi guys a uh, brief introduction about myself my name is nishan soni i'm 21 years old i'm based in new delhi india i'm currently a product management intern at the expedia group i'm a third year undergraduate computer science student at delhi technological university a uh, little bit more about my interests i'm really interested in non tech fields like uh, management uh, operations and logistics I am a huge cricket fan. I am a huge Formula One fan, and uh, in my spare time, I love to travel. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. So, uh, in this video, we will discuss what was the selection process for Expedia in off-campus um, setup. Then we will discuss um, the experience about experience with Nishant for his interviews. We will also discuss the various resources that Nishant used. Uh, for preparing for these rounds and at last we will also uh, discuss about some tips on how to master product management interviews yes okay all right so um, we have also made some similar videos uh, about internship interview experiences such as uh, we have made videos with shruti for goldman sachs with saksham for pwc with kunal for barclays and many such videos so you can always uh, you know uh, click the i tab up there on the top right corner of your screen to view those videos okay so nishant let's begin now so one question nishant that is bothering me is how did you get to know about this opportunity uh sure tanmay so as you know this is an off campus opportunity and uh, basically i came to know across this opportunity uh, on the website called workday.com so this is a website where expedia posted this job or this internship opportunity and uh, i i viewed it on workday itself okay that's great so all right uh, and how was it different from the usual or usual on campus drives that we have okay so uh, as obviously this is an off campus opportunity and this uh, their selection criteria is a little different from the on campus drives in my experience uh, for this uh, recruitment the selection criteria was quite different we did not have an aptitude test to begin with instead we had a cv shortlisting round this was followed by an hr round and then three rounds with senior product managers at expedia so in that sense the uh, offer the opportunities that expedia offers on campus which is the sde role has a different selection process it's a uh, you know aptitude it's a first coding round then technical interview and then behavioral interview so in that sense it was quite different okay all right so uh, nishant you just mentioned that there was no aptitude test but there were multiple rounds of interviews some with hr others with senior product managers so uh, could you elaborate more about these interviews and uh, what was asked in these interviews and what was your experience all about yeah sure so as i mentioned uh, after my uh, cv shortlisting in hr round i had three interviews with senior pms at expedia itself so the first two interviews were mostly centered around my cv my achievements and my projects and work experiences so i was questioned you know thoroughly on these aspects i was also asked a variety of situational competency based questions uh, you know for example like if you were put into this situation and you had to make this decision what would your thought process be like what kind of uh, you know flow would you follow so a lot of competency based questions were asked uh, coming to the final interview which was the third interview this was basically a full fledged uh, product case study 
uh, I was given on the spot a situation where a company required the delivery of a product and I had to take my interviewer through the entire process of how I would do that uh, right from the initial requirement analysis to finally measuring the post deployment KPIs which are key performance indicators. So this entire uh, process was carried out during three interviews and uh, you know I would also like to add the experience was quite different from the usual SD interviews that Expedia does on campus. Uh, as far as I'm aware Expedia does not recruit product managers at an undergraduate level on campus. They only recruit for the SD role and you know sub, uh, definitely the process was quite different and it was slightly lengthy also it took about uh, one month to complete from end to end and uh, just to add to that uh, this was a very selective process i was actually one of only two interns who got selected for this role from india so you can imagine how selective the process was oh so that definitely indicates that there was really tough competition for this role yes. given the scale given the amount of roles they they provide these are very less of course okay and the interview process also seems to be very rigorous. Yes. Okay. So guys, this was all about our uh, set overall about the uh, selection process for Expedia for off-campus product management role. And if you're still watching this video, don't forget to like and share this video. And of course, subscribe to our channel if you have not already. So now we will discuss uh, other things that are uh, what resources that Nishant used, what are the resources that Nishant used to prepare for this role and uh, he will also give us some tips on how to master the interviews and what should one do if someone is interested in this role. So Nishant, uh, what were the different resources that you used to prepare for this role? Uh, sure, so uh, just to give you uh, a little uh, context, I was first introduced to product management uh, by my seniors in college and uh, I occupy a couple of uh, management, uh, I occupy a couple of council positions which are related to management and logistics in various societies in my college. So that is where I got basically my first exposure to management and uh, after which I definitely put in a lot of effort to learning into learning about this role. So mainly I referred a lot of online platforms such as product plan and product school. Uh, these are great uh, online platforms to learn everything about product management. They also offer a number of free books which are really useful. Uh, I would although like to majorly credit my preparation to this one book titled Cracking the PM Interview by Gail and Jackie. So this is a really great book for anyone who is starting out in PM and it gives you a very holistic idea of the entire profile, what kind of work the job entails. So definitely check this book out. And lastly, I would like to recommend another book which is titled Inspired by Marty Kagan. This is basically, you know, this is sometimes known as the Bible for product management. It's the one stop shop for all things PM. So definitely check this one out too. Okay, thanks Nishan for all these resources that you told us. Now, uh, if someone is interested in the product management role, uh, so from where should he start? Uh, you know, start preparing for these roles. Okay, so just to shed some light on this topic, product management is typically seen as a post MBA job and it is true that opportunities are lesser for undergraduate students in India. But my suggestion is that if you are one of those folks who has developed a liking for product at such a young age, then you should definitely give it a shot. You know, for starters, you will only be competing, actually truly be competing against a small segment of uh, engineers who have developed a liking for product at this age. And in, in my experience and in the experience of my mentors as well, the best way to learn about product management and its nuances is by reading, reading and reading. So you need to keep reading about this role, about the different uh, kind of expectations from this role, different situations this role can put you in. Uh, every successful tech company in the industry is led by competent product managers. So try to read about their experiences and the obstacles they faced. Put yourself in their shoes and see how you would react. What would be your thinking process? This will also help give you a good idea if this role is the right fit for you. Lastly, once you are done with your, uh, you know, basic preparation on product management, what it is, what it entails etc definitely check out mock pm interviews on youtube 
there are a couple of channels uh, exponent and rocket blogs these two channels have really good uh, pm mock interviews so this will again help give you a really good idea of what kind of questions you can expect in a mock interview obviously and also what kind of things a job entails so all these questions there is in some way related to what you will be doing in your day to day life as a pm so that's a really good place to start Okay, so the links to all these YouTube channels and other resources that Nishant mentioned will be available in the description below. Okay, so Nishant, since you cracked this really difficult uh, internship opportunity, please give us some tips on how to be master such interviews. Right, definitely. So, uh, you know, right off the top of my head, confidence and clear communication are probably the two most important qualities in any PM. when you once you start reading about this role you will understand that this is a typically front facing job that is you will spend a lot of time interacting with different departments and stakeholders in your company so definitely remain calm confident and communicate very effectively in your interviews practice basic problem solving and competency based questions situational questions like i mentioned before beforehand so that it it will help uh, give the interview an impression that you are really well prepared and uh, also one thing that you should definitely do is try to understand the product development process beforehand so this is usually something that you get uh, exposed to once you start your job as a pm but i would say that if you can learn about this before itself that will give a really good impression to your interviewer try to learn about the entire product development process right from uh eliciting the right requirements for your product up till you know analyzing the product after you deploy it everything that happens is in between is basically the role of a product manager and if that is something that you can learn before joining as a product manager itself that's a really really good thing uh lastly i would say uh this is something that uh, some, many candidates overlook and it's actually very important is that you should research and read about the company that you are interviewing with understand what is its mission its purpose and the values associated with the company and try to you know incorporate these sentiments into the answers you give so for example in my case i did a lot of research on expedia group uh, its goals its uh, values and its principles and i definitely kept that in mind during my interview and i i am pretty sure that uh, you know the interviewers up to some extent were impressed that i took the time out and did this extra research it really gives a good impression so keep that in mind okay so guys in this video we discussed about the selection process of uh, expedia of campus opportunity that was there was one hr round and three product management uh, interview rounds then we also discussed the different resources that nishant used to crack this internship opportunity and also nishant gave us some tips on how to master these interviews some tips that he gave us was that confidence and uh, a calm communication is must and of course some things that you that usually people miss out is that we need to also know more about the company uh, so that is that these were the key tips that nishant gave so thank you nishant for being with us any time it was a great pleasure okay thank you and thank you everybody for watching us stay tuned all the best guys